All right, guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCG live stream. Today's live stream, guys, we are going to be playing with some Alolan Sand slash GX decks. Well, mainly I only have two built so far because the card is actually not that good in standard or at the very least, it's just kind of hard to build around in standard as opposed to expanded. Um, but I do have two builds I want to try out. I got the expanded build right here um which i'll be playing soon but we're gonna focus on the standard one which is my um if i can find where it is uh, my standard build which is a roxy build so if you're watching this as a vod car Carving tcg now has code codes up for pre-order for sword and shield so if you guys are going to pre want to pre-order any sword and shield codes pre-order them at car Carving tcg they are now up for pre-order as i'm speaking and sand slash codes might also be out too but i know for a fact the Sword and Shield codes up. And yo, Gary Style, how you doing? Thank you for coming by on the stream today. Um, yes, I am streaming right now, and I'm going to be playing around with some Alolan Sand Slash GX decks. Don't know how good the card really is, but we're going to be fine out today with two different builds, Dark, or in Standard and in Expanded. Hype for Alolan Sand Slash, love some thread. Yeah, Jacob, it's going to be fun. Um, it is going to be fun. Yo, Dark, what up? Yo, Killy Wright and Christian Brown and Talon Knight X. How you guys doing? And thank you for coming by on the stream. But yeah, we're going to be playing some Sand Slash here. We're going to try it out in Standard. This is the build that I have in Standard. I don't, like, the card is kind of hard to play in Standard, not going to lie. I tried it with, like, Quagneg and Red and Blue um, just to be able to, like, use stuff like Volcanium Prism Star and stuff. But, like, that build was really, like, kind of inconsistent. I didn't really like it that much. So I want to be trying it out with Roxy and Weezing and Mew and Spell Tag. That, 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 this is pretty much the build that I'm rocking with today. I don't know how good the card is, but we'll see. Uh, but in Expanded, we're definitely going to play and have some fun with it, because I think this card's actually good in Expanded. And yo, Max and Maxim, how you guys doing? How you guys doing? Thank you for coming by on the stream today. And without further ado, let's just get into some matches now with our Sand Slash deck. And, um, yeah, oops. That's okay hold on i'm trying to adjust the volume what the heck just happened to the volume settings here okay there we go I'm, I'm i'm checking like the volume on obs making sure everything's like at the right volume and like it like glitched out for a sec all right um let me know if the music is too loud i don't think it will be and yo jacob renu how you doing man thank you for coming on the stream so yeah we're gonna be playing some sand slash here uh the only real way i could really think that it would like work in like a serious manner and standard was gonna be with roxy of course so we'll have to see if it actually does end up working for us. I don't know. I haven't tested this deck out. If you guys also have any other ideas to play Sand Slash with, I'm all ears. Let me know and we can maybe build some Sand Slash decks. Okay. So first things, we're going to do Stellar Wish to see what we can find. My opponent does start with a Mew, which is kind of annoying. Okay, there's a Roxy. Definitely take that. So, I mean, our game plan against Mew is to use our own Mew and use Spell Tag. That is literally how we're going to try to deal with Mew. Um, definitely aren't gonna, I'm not gonna do Roxy now. I might even, might even wait. What are the odds we get docked? Probably really low, right? I do still want to bench this Mew though. Um, I don't think we're gonna get donked. My opponent might Psy power me. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We're gonna get a Sandshrew instead. I, I, maybe not. I don't know. Whatever. We should be able to find a Mew off of our Stellar Wish. Or sorry, our Roxy next turn. I guess we aren't going to be able to get the double Roxy effect. I could always Stellar Wish into a treasure, though. I just want to get a Sand in play. Is Red and Blue in the deck? Nope, it is not. I tried it with Red and Blue. Unfortunately, the Red and Blue, like, Quagsire build wasn't really that good. Like, when I tried it out, it wasn't really that good. But we can... I can rebuild it, and maybe, like, if you guys have a better way to play it. What does Sand Slash do? Uh, Sand Slash has um, an ability, which basically, when it gets damaged, your opponent takes three damage counters. Um, ooh, he's playing Malamar. This is perfect. So we really want to knock out this Mew because Malamar is a really good matchup for us because of their low HP Pokemon. Um, and then Sand Slash, like its main perk is going to be the GX attack, which does 100 damage to everything on your opponent's side of the field with damage counters on it. So this counts for both GXs and non-GXs. So it's like kind of different than Black Ray GX. Um, and this GX attack is actually really powerful because you can literally wipe your opponent's board. And since they're playing Malamar, this should quite literally be one of our best matchups. We just need to get this Mew knocked out, which again, we have spell tags in our own Mew and Roxy. And they just pass, which is perfect. Okay, we drew a Ditto. Okay, let's see what Stellar Wish gives us. A Pokecom. All right, beautiful. We can Pokecom the Ditto back and get... We also have Weezing too. We have um the Weezing with Spotter and Sludge. All right, we're going to go double Roxy here for sure. Seems good to me. 
Uh, do you have extra Dedenne GX? Unfortunately, no, Christian. I do not. None of my Dedennes are for trade because I'm stocking up on Dedennes for the new set because they are going to go up in value. Um, okay. Well, wow. We didn't get any item or any, like, switch cards. It's kind of sad. Still, though, we're getting that damage on the board. But, yeah, I'm not trading any of my Dedennes off. I have, like, I think six or seven right now, but none of them are for trade because I need them. Um, okay. What am I doing here? It's kind of a tricky little hand. I do think we'll bench the Ditto because we can turn that into... Well, I guess... No, we'll get knocked out by Psy Power. Oh, I regret that now. Is there any way I can not go this Mew this turn? I don't think there is. Yeah, I shouldn't have benched this. He's just going to Giratina Mew, knock me out. Yeah, that was a stupid idea. But I want this to turn into a Weezing with Splattering Sludge. Hmm. Uh, I don't think we evolved just yet either into Sand Slash. Right? I mean, yeah, I guess it wouldn't kill to put the Sand Slash in play. Hmm. I think I do want to play a Pokecom too. I don't... Hmm. I kind of want to get another Jirachi though also. My opponent might knock me in. Well, I guess I didn't do a supporter last turn. Okay, let's do this. Let's Pokecom back the Sand Slash. We're not going to evolve it just yet. We're going to get... I might just get a Coughing. Just so we can do Weezing with Splattering Sludge next turn. I don't know. I might regret this. We'll see. We'll see. Um, put that there. Sure. I think I would do Oak Setting, Red and Blue, Savali, Lolan, Persian, GX, Endor, Glacia, Yama, Cargo, Disc Reload, and any card you want. Yeah, that could work. The problem is, though, when you with the Sand Slash deck, you have to pretty much play with a spread. Like, I'm building the deck around its GX attack, not really so much its own, like, attacks itself. Okay, we're in a good spot right now. Ooh, that was a good top deck. All right, Stellar Wish. We do find a switch. Beautiful. Okay, this is really good. Um... I think we'll evolve the Ditto, to be honest with you, because, well, I guess this thing, well, we, no, I do play one Lana's Fishing Rod. Should I evolve the Ditto, or should I just evolve, no, we should just evolve the Coughing, whatever. If Ditto gets knocked out, so be it. Whatever. Not the end of the world. Uh, we're going to play this, because we have Welders in the deck. We're just going to Splattering Sludge. We will knock out their Mew, which now means we can pretty much wipe their entire board with Sand Slash next turn, assuming we can get enough combos. We're out of Pokecoms, though, so we actually can't find Sand Slash anymore. Oh, do you need some way to spread, though? Yeah, because we're trying to build around Sand Slash's GX attack. No, they play multiple Lunas Fishing Rod. Okay, this is why we do play Spell Tags. Ooh, and they talked to Lily. Alright, my opponent is still in the game. Weezing might actually get knocked out this turn, too, by Giratina. Yeah, this is not good. That Lana's Rod is not good, especially because they just got it. Ooh, there's a Viridian. Okay, but we'll probably play our Giant Hearth, though. We have 30 viewers in the stream, not even streaming for 10 minutes. That's just pretty impressive. That's like the most amount of viewers I've gotten in a short amount of time. But welcome, everybody, to the stream. Hope you guys are having a good day. And by the way, if you guys are looking for Sword and Shield pre-orders, Car Cavern's got them in stock right now. So if you pre-order any Sword and Shield codes at Car Cavern, make sure you use code LDF for the checkout. So as long as Weezing lives this turn, we can get some detention gas damage off. They have no energy in the discard, so it's pretty safe to say we're living here. Nice. And we can get some damage on that Mew, which is pretty important. And actually, getting this damage on everything else is also pretty good. There's a Welder. That was a really good top deck. Okay, we have a Fire Crystal in the deck, so we're going to do this. And we're going to Welder to the to the Sanctuary, I guess, because it's probably not going to get knocked out anytime soon. There's a spell tag. That's a really good card to get. Not much else, to be honest with you, to work with right now. I guess we'll just burn this. Okay. Uh, we can knock out the Jirachi, which I think we will definitely do. We get some more deten um, some more uh, detention gas damage on that Mew. And now the Mew gets knocked out when they knock out Weezing. So, yeah. So all we need now is to find a Sand Slash and we win unless they have two Mews. 
I always use your code hope all is well. It is Gary and I do appreciate you for using it. Do you have any fairy tapu lele for trade? I don't think I do, Maxim. I think all my um fairy leles are trade locked. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. So the only way they can really deal with me here is if they faba this off. I guess we should maybe treasure for another Mew then. On the off chance this thing becomes a problem. Okay, thanks. No problem. I mean, I guess for anyone else, the Fairy Lele. Um, he's looking for one. So, we'll see what happens here. Jirachi coming down. I really hope Weezing can live here. Well, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I want Weezing to live. So all we really, all we literally need to do is knock this out, and we just need to get a Sand Slash. We literally win the game if we get a Sand Slash here. And it looks like they're still struggling to find their Giratina to attack with. Okay, this is going well. We just need to get an Alolan Sand Slash to win. Though, to be fair, this Weezing might be able to put in enough work to win the game by itself. Oh, they concede. We didn't get to get, we didn't get to use Sand Slash. That's a rip. That's a rip. I think I have some, but won't be online till later. Oh, you can actually Misty Lorelei the Sand Slash. That's crazy. Yeah, exactly. I don't think the Misty Lorelei combo is good in Standard, but I actually in Expanded, I think Misty Lorelei is a lot easier to pull off, which I do actually play in my uh, Expanded build. So I'll pull up Sand Slash if you guys know what it does. This is the GX card. This is a pretty decent card, honestly. Um, the main the main trait about it is that you attack Spiky Storm doing 100 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon that have any damage counters on it. So you can literally win the game if you're playing against something like Nuzzle. And really the only thing that gets in this card's way is Mew. But the only way we can deal with Mew is with our own Mew and with cards like Spell Tag to kind of get some damage on Mew. Mew is like the only threat this deck has. If you get past Mew, then it's a cakewalk. Play some Expanded, please. Oh, yeah, I will, I will. I will play some Expanded very soon with the deck we're gonna try it out in standard though because i have to record a video on this deck like after the stream so i'm gonna test this build out first just to see how it does but you know what i'm liking the card though i'm liking the card oh we're up against mewtwo this might be a tough matchup i think this deck definitely excels against lower hp decks i don't really know if it can fare well against like adp and mewtwo Y'all was that Mally player. My hands were awful. GG though. Yeah, GG boss. Um, so the thing is, boss, if you knocked out my Weezing, I would have knocked out your Mew, and then I would have... Um... Ooh. Okay, I guess we start with Garatina. Um, you would have knocked out my Weezing, I would have knocked out your Mew, and then I would have hoped that like I was able to find a Sand Slash that turn, and then I would have a Alolan Sand Slash your entire board. You can also consider Alolan Ninetales GX, Cherish Ball, Custom Catcher, Deal with Mew. Yeah, that's true. That's kind of clunky, though. See, like, really the only way I can find to deal with Mew is with just Mew's itself. It's kind of tri it's kind of tr tricky uh, to deal with Mew, I think. Mew's, like, the only thing. In Expanded, I play Alolan Mach to deal with uh, Mime and Mew and stuff. But, yeah. Okay, our start's not looking very good. They have cross division. They probably have Welder here too with two energies in their opening hand, like most uh, Welder decks do. We're gonna have the Roxy here. Only one Pokemon though. Wow, yo, what kind of Dedenne is that, bro? They get rid of five Pokemon? Bruh. Oh my god, that is retarded. Mew Mew to copy the attack, maybe. Okay, yeah, that's an option. It actually would work because most Mew decks do play rainbows and stuff. But, uh,. You'd have to play it in a spread deck, because, like, the attack only works, really, with, like, a spread archetype. That's, like, the issue. Maybe, like, a Alolan Sand Slash GX with Greninja GX. Could be kind of cute. I did have a Alolan Sand Slash built in Quagnag with, like, Volcanium and Prism Star. Because Vol Volcanium is one of your best partners for it, I think. Okay. What are we doing here? I think we gotta just Roxy one Pokemon. Not ideal, but it is what it is. We got no Pokemon off that Roxy. Um, so we literally lose because we have no way to deal with that Mewtwo. Great. Is five mon, is five mon good hand these days? What do you mean, Ant? What do you mean? Oh, there goes my win streak rip. Thankfully, this ladder is not very good, though. Gardenia Full Art's not a very good card right now. Actually, I think the ladder is going to reset, like, a few days after Sword and Shield comes out. Because usually the ladder resets, like, at the worst time possible. The ladder, like, will reset... 
on like the worst times it's like it's like already like a few weeks into the new set and then we get a new ladder but this new ladder actually might happen no it is gonna happen probably before the new set oh no wait oh wait never mind because nine days we're still two weeks away from the new set nine days is oh no bro that's actually snake the new ladder is gonna start like a few days before the new set comes out so then we still have we won't have a new ladder yet. Oh my gosh, that is waste. Flying on GX with psychic energies. Did I see that right? Did I see that right? I guess we're playing against Mew again. Mew Mew, did any start with full mons? Yeah, that was ridiculous, bro. I've never seen a Mewtwo get that good of a hand before. Yeah, rip indeed. But that's the thing, like, these decks can't beat tag team decks, bro. They just not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Oh, they got rid of that character as well. That's good. Hey, LDF. Yo, Andy Wu. How you doing, man? Thank you for coming by on the stream. We're playing some Alone Sanchez decks all stream. And we're playing right now in standard with Roxy. And so far, the deck is not playing bad. We pretty much... We can beat Malamar. We know that much. We can't really beat Mewtwo, though. But this guy doesn't look like he's playing a normal Mewtwo build. So, I think we'll be okay. I think we should be okay. I don't know if he... He doesn't like if he plays Welder either, which is pretty good. I haven't finished the ladder yet. I'm at 600 coins. Yeah, this ladder is, like, easily skippable. Unless, like, you're still, like, in desperate need of, like, a few cards from Cosmic Eclipse, I guess. But, like, I don't know. Okay. Um. Sheesh. This is a pretty bad hand. Well, the good news is we're probably not, not going to get knocked out next turn. I think I might just go Welder here, in all honesty. I... I'm not really feeling the Roxy play. I don't know what to treasure away just yet. What the bruh? Where are these? Where are my Pokemon at, my guy? Okay. Um, this is pretty bad. However, I don't think we're gonna lose next turn, thankfully. So we should be okay. Oh, we almost got the busted triple heads. Okay, the deck isn't bad. It's just we're getting some really awful hands with our Welders and stuff because this is not a good hand. We have a lot of Roxies, but not a good hand. We can attack with Sandslash next turn. Sandslash is not the worst attacker, thankfully. It's, like, not that bad. Um, really? Okay, well, we're still fine. They're probably just going to do Star Search. This Air Ring and Bell is actually kind of frustrating. I'm desperate for some Dedenne. He's been spending all my coins on Broken Bonds. Don't spend your coins on that, Killy. Um, unless, like, you have zero Dedennes at all on your account. Because you do need Dedennes for the new set and the new, uh, the new, the new, the, the new rule change. But I don't think spending all your coins on Broken Bonds packs is going to be a good idea, though, dude. That's my problem. Okay, we drew Jirachi. I think it's in our best interest here to retreat. Because, like, Dedenne will be very expensive. Like, you... Pretty much, if you're looking for Dedenne's, you probably have to do it now, because their value is going to skyrocket. Well, considering they're not really playing the most amazing deck, I think we're just going to get rid of this reset stamp. It's like the only card in my hand that I don't really care for. I guess we should have got rid of Roxy. Okay, looks like we're going to get rid of Roxy then. But I, I want to keep the spell tag. I think we're just going to go double wheezing here draw six cards and just hope that it gives me something good if we can get like maybe a switch into a mew with psi power and then we can split spell tag okay we actually got there uh we can also get wheezy next turn which i actually think wouldn't be terrible either and that's if i can find another energy to attack with it because i actually wouldn't mind using wheezing here hmm okay yeah we're gonna do this we're gonna switch into the mew I'm just going to do this. Plus, we want to save our Jirachi. I don't know if that was a good idea, though. Maybe we could have held the Mew, let the Jirachi get knocked out, and then evolve into Weezing. But these Mewtwo matchups are hard to navigate. Thankfully, my opponent put some low HP Pokemon in play. That's one thing. Like, these Mewtwo matchups could be winnable. Because if they do have these low... Ooh, Viridian. Perfect. Now we can Welder for 2 energy. These Mewtwo matchups are actually pretty winnable, though. Because if they end up benching enough Pokemon like Dedenne and Jirachi... All we have to do is get 6 damage on them, which is super easy to do. And then we just win with Sand Slash. So, these matchups might be hard... But, like, there's a win condition sometimes, I guess. Hi, man. I got three metals, sec three secret light energies. When do you think is best time to trade for sword and shield packs? Well, our well, sword and shield's not out yet, but metal is definitely the best investment. Right now, the card is around 50 packs. It's like 49, 48 packs around there. But I guarantee you when the new set comes out and when metal types become super powerful, the card is going to skyrocket in price. 
Okay. I think we're just going to bring a Jirachi. The card is going to skyrocket in price. Okay, perfect top deck. Now we're going to Jirachi, because I, I didn't think I would drop Pokemon here. The card, the metal's probably going to go up to, like, maybe around 60. At may, I doubt it'll go up to 70, but it's possible, because the card, like, metal energy is going to be so good in the new format. So I wish. Beautiful. Yeah, I think we're just going to have the Viridian of Roxy away, I think. It's like the only real, like, relevant card here. Oh no, but he just miraculous do all that damage off. Bruh, that is so, that's scum. Maybe we should have just attacked with an Alolan Sand Slash. Hmm. Yeah, like there's really no point of attacking with Weezing. Bruh, that's pretty bad. But I guess if he doesn't do Maracas Duo... Well, we got rid of our Welder, though, so we can't even, like, Welder two energies to this thing. Hmm. This is not a good spot to be in. Um... Yeah, I think we just go for the Weezing play, and then I guess just pray he doesn't do Maracas Duo. This is, like, my best play. I really hope this pays off. If he doesn't do Maracas Duo, that'll be amazing. But he's definitely going to do it. He probably knows, like, what Alone Sanchez does. Oh, got to read some chat. I zero to Dene's. Yeah, Killy, I think the best option to get to Dene's end, man, I guess getting those, um... Getting unbroken bonds packs from the shop is okay, but like it's you know you're not guaranteed, and they're locked, so you can't ever trade it off. Mimic you to make this matchup much easier. Yeah, I actually think yeah that's a good idea. But the thing is with that, then none of your business is then we lose our own sand slash's ability. But I actually think that's not a bad idea to be honest with you. We should probably put Mimic you in here. Also, lightning thanks to Pika. Yeah, Pika definitely will make lightning go up a little bit. I think lightning's around like 30 packs right now. It'll probably go up to maybe 35, 40. I opened three cosmic eclipse. Boost Pass got three tag teams. A Blastoise Piplup was fuller. Nice. And my friend opened five and got nothing. Yeah, the Pebbles and Cosmic Clips can be kind of wonky. And he did Miraculous Duo. Wait, no, he didn't. What did he do? Oh, he used Mux Attack. Well, thank you for not healing your board. I appreciate it. Wish we had a spell tag on, though. Ooh, that's the perfect top deck. This is what I wanted to do. Ooh, we got a skateboard too. That's perfect. Uh, so this is a bit of a a bit of a debate though. What what I want to Viridian away? Because I do want to do Psy Power here to set this up to be KO'd and that up to be KO'd. It's gonna have to be Pokecom, I guess. Oh, uh, I don't know. Okay, this is a big turn for us. We're not going to be able to win the game by knocking out everything, but what we can do is do that and then just pray my opponent's stupid enough to not do Miraculous Duo. <laughs> if the Miraculous Duo, I mean, we might as well concede. We can save Giratina, though, so we'll see. I just, I don't know. I don't think we're going to win this. If they added a Denny in play, maybe we could win. Or they benched out of the Jirachi. How about Triple Energy with Guzman Hala? Yeah, I guess that wouldn't be bad in here either. I honestly really like the idea of pairing it with Weezing instead of the Roxy Weezing more because this thing's actually a good attacker and can actually like make it easier to win with Sand Slash. So maybe we should play it more with Weezing instead of the Roxy Engine. But the Roxy Engine's still really good. I don't... Man, this is a tough deck to build. So when, when Metal Secret Rare reached 60, 70 Sword and Shield Packs, I'll trade them. Well, the best thing to do, Ark, would be on day one is get Metal Energies for... Try to get Secret Metals for like... Like, this is, like, day one, like, first hour or so of Sword and Shield packs going live on Thursday. The best thing to do would be to trade off, like, try to get, like, metal secret medals for, like, eight or nine or ten packs. The cheaper you get them, you just save yourself so many packs. Because, yeah, secret metal will most likely go up because of how good metal types are now. It's Roxy, Roxy Com fodder if you don't need it. Yeah. Didn't know Alone Sanchez was a card. Yeah, it's a card. It just came out. It's really cool. In standard, 
It's kind of tricky. All right. If he does Maraca's Duel here, I'm going to cry. I don't even think we win. Even if we take four prizes here, like, we're not going to win the game. We're just doing this for flex points at this point. We're just doing this for flex points. Ooh. Actually, please do Altered Creation. I know you want to. I know you want to do Altered Creation. If he does Altered Creation, maybe we could win by knocking this out. I really hope he does Altered Creation. Please do not Maraca's Duel. Just please do Altered Creation. I could maybe win the game if he does Altered Creation here. No, Ultimate Ray. Oh, if he did Altered Creation, we could put damage on this. And then try to hit a spell tag. Knock this out. Win the game with Spiky Storm. Mm-hmm, interesting. So I'll wait a lot before trading Secret Energies to get a good value. Yeah. Don't get them now. It's better to wait. Day, if you, well, it depends on how many Sword and Shield packs. If you're expecting to have, like, hundreds of Sword and Shield packs on the first day when the codes go live on the Thursday arc, um, the best thing to do, man, would be trade off Sword and Shield packs while, while they're really expensive on the first day and then try to get, like, try to get a bunch of packs for, like, a really cheap value. That's my best advice. Because, like... Day one trades, you can probably get like a secret rare metal energy for nine sword and shield packs within the first hour of the set going live. Okay, well, we can kind of flex on my opponent here and take a few prizes. That's kind of cool. Hmm. Maybe. I mean, no, we don't stand a chance. What am I saying? I kind of want to play the Lana's Rod. I don't know. Let's just go for Spiky Storm. At the very least, we're going to be able to take two prizes here, which is kind of lit. If my opponent had a dead name play, I think I could have won, to be honest with you. I think I could have won if my opponent had a dead name play. Spiky Storm is great. Frost Breath 120 sucks. Yeah, it's not that great of an attack, but Spiky Storm is pretty cool. We're going to try this out and expand it soon, though. But I should start a trade or snipe a trade on the public trades. Yeah, if you can get, like, a good deal for a secret energy, definitely, but that's kind of hard. So what's our win condition here? Knocking this out, but he's going to do Maraca's duo. He has no reason not to. Hmm. Hey, bro, what are you playing? Um, I am playing a Sand Slash deck. We're going to be doing Sand Slash all stream, pretty much. Eh, bro, okay, there we go again. Another bad deck playing Koga's Trap. <laughs> we got over 50 viewers watching the stream, though. Wow. Anyways, thank you guys for watching the stream. <laughs> if you're tuning in, 50 viewers is pretty sick. Um, and if you guys are um, new, it's up to the channel. And also, uh, if you're looking for Sword Shield pre-orders, Card Cavern's got them in stock right now. You can use code LDF if you pick up any codes. I think Sand Slash codes should be in stock, too. I didn't check. Like, I went on Card Cavern just for streaming just to see if they had Sword and Shield codes in. And they do. They indeed have Sword and Shield pre-orders right now. Sword and Shield code pre-orders. You can also pre-order them in lots of 50 if you want to. Now, let's see what they do. They didn't do Maraca's Duo. Okay. They literally could have won by just doing Maraca's Duo. The problem here is I don't think we can win. We need to do 80 damage. So we need a welder to win. But we're out of what? Oh, we got one left. Okay. We could win this. If we can Jirachi into a welder and that welder gets me a Pokemon... I do win. That's our only way we can win this is by hitting a welder here. No. We actually almost could have won the game if we actually hit a welder there. Oh my gosh, that is so disappointing. Uh, can I get some Fs in the chat? Spiky Storm reminds me of Magikarp Whaler, but cheaper and improved. Exactly. Is there any other way I can win this? I can great catcher that and then pray they don't have a switching guard. I mean, I guess like that's the only thing we can do. Ooh. 
We'll see if this works. This is the only thing I can do to maybe win the game and they just probably don't have the switch. If I, I oh, if I had reset still, we could have reset stamped them. All right, well, this is pretty much our last ditch effort and hope they don't move this thing. Lone Sand Slash GX is going to be broken in Frostmoth. It might be, but I don't know, because the problem is you have to play it with a spread deck, and the only spread attacker would be Volcanian Prism. And there's the Mount Lana. Dang it. If that Stellar Wish got us, if that Stellar Wish got us well, there, we would have won the game probably, because I yeah, might we would have hit a Pokemon to win. Oh, man, that is insane we came that close to winning that. My opponent really should have done Maracas Duo, man. The fact they didn't do Maracas Duo really did cost them the game. Okay, well, well, not cost them the game, but almost cost them the game, because we were one card off of winning. All right, so what changes do you think we should make to the deck? I'm starting to just think of taking out this Lana's Fishing Rod. It's doing, like, nothing for us. Um, what should we add? What should be added here? Yo, I caught the stream. Yes, indeed, Dave. Yes, indeed. So what cards do you think I should add to the deck? This is the list we're rocking with. I'm liking it. The fact that we came that close to being Mewtwo is pretty good. I really think we should maybe focus more on this Weezing. Triple. Yeah. I guess we can take out one Fire Energy. But the problem with Triple Energy is maybe we can just cut down to three Waters. We don't really need Water that much. The problem with Triple, though, it's a dead card a lot of the time. That's why I don't really like it that much. I mean, we could do this, I guess. DC's back in the format, but only works with non-GX. Yeah, I saw that. That got me excited. That got me so excited, because non-GX Pokemon really needed the support. Still say Mimikyu, Misty, Lorelei. Nah, Misty, Lorelei, I don't think it'll work Talon Knight, because I don't think we'd be able to build a Sand Slash in time. I don't know. I'm tempted just to take out this Reset Stamp, but like that can win us the game a lot of the time. Hmm. We could add a Lure Ball to the deck. I think... Okay. Lure Ball I like because we can get Weezing back. I might just take out the Giant Hearth. I guess. I don't know. I might regret that. We'll throw in that Mimikyu because I actually think that Mimikyu is busted. But the only thing is the Mimikyu does allow us to use our own ability on Sand Slash. But in theory, it's not that good. I'm so excited for the new set, but I'm also worried about how to deal with no supporters turn one. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the, the game adapts to that new supporter rule change. All right, let's just roll with this. We'll see if this build works any better. I don't know about the triple energies, though, to be honest with you. But, hey, if we win the game because we put triples in the deck, that'll be good. All right, I'm going to change up the song here because we've had this Hoenn Weather Trio remix on for a while. We'll put on whatever this is, the Sword and Shield Scotty remix. I don't know what it says. All right, what are we up against? Okay, a water deck. There's no Psychic. If we see our opponent with no Psychic Pokemon, that is 100% confirmed they have no um, Mew, which is pretty good. What about Savali Red and Blue and the Spread Noivern? Oh, yeah, I forgot about the Spread Noivern. That is true. That actually might be better in this deck, to be honest with you. I'm definitely trying the Meme-tastic Misty Lorelei spread with Sinchino. Oh, on this deck, Solstice? With uh, Lone Saint Slash? Because that'll be pretty cool. Okay, just as I predicted, they're playing Blastoise. Um, all right, we'll Stella Wish first, I guess. And ooh, Energy Spinner. Only one Energy though. That's fine. That's fine. Still, Weezing has its comeback with the new DC. Yeah, I think Weezing will, but the problem is Maulana exists, so that already like kind of hurts Weezing's potential. But Weezing might still be good. Who knows? I don't think the card is that bad. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna get a Gonna get a ditto here. Because we're probably gonna want to attack with Weezing before we use Sand Slash. Okay, we're looking for probably like a switching card here. No, we got Mew and Jirachi. This is fine. Yeah, draw with Sinchino and then just try to GX every turn after opening with Roxy to put those damage counters on. That's actually a pretty sick idea, Solstice. That's pretty sick. So, wait. Does the new... Wait, so does the new DC... Okay, no. I, I bet that wrong. Because I, I was about to say, does it work with GXs? But it doesn't. You're right. So it only it only works on non-GX, non-V Pokemon. So I guess it works on EXs then. Ooh, busted top deck. We don't have an energy though, so not so busted. Busted. 
Stellar Wish? Uh, we don't have a way to get energy, though, don't we? I just don't think we have a way to find energy here. Fighting Pokemon are getting a buff in the new set, but also in a decrease because Rillaboom decks are good. Fairies are no... Yeah, fairies are pretty much, like, not going to be extinct. Guardian still might see some play, but... Yeah, it's... Oh, why did I play the escape board? I meant to do double Stellar Wish. Yeah, whatever. We'll just... We're not going to attack this turn anyways because there's no way to find energy. I think because I put... I took the giant hearth out of the deck. So we'll just do this instead. We'll just wait a turn, I guess. That's fine. I guess, I guess we can switch into Weezing, but we're not going to get knocked out. But maybe... No, I should have because we need the damage counters on their basics. Ooh, misplay alert. Misplay alert. But yeah, works with the X's. That's pretty busted. It'll be interesting to see how, um, maybe my opponent's playing Sandslash Blastoise. It'll be interesting to see how, um, Electrode does too with V Pokemon. I don't think Electrode V Pokemon is going to be like a new deck or anything, but that could be a pretty cool archetype that could just pop out of nowhere. Okay. Let's see what happens here. No. Yeah, I should have. Why did I not go into this? That was pretty silly. But in Expanded, you can use DCE anyways. Yeah, exactly. But that actually provides more DCE outs if you think about it. That makes some of these non-GX decks a lot better. Because that's like, that's an extra DC. Because most people are like, okay, just play triple or counter energy. But that extra DC might be pretty busted for some of those decks in Expanded. Angela Singh, how you doing? Thank you for coming by on the stream. Playing some Alolan Sandslash today. Okay, we're going to ditch the Great Catcher for sure. I get a Weezing here. Perfect. We can do the double Roxy. We should maybe add a Cherish Ball to this deck though too. Because I guess, to be fair, we need the Cherish Ball also. It's only three Pokemon in play. But getting these damage on these Blastoise are good because they can get knocked out. Okay, we got some energy, which is good. Um, What are we doing here? Switch... Do this uh we'll take the pokey calm we can get sand shrew in play do i think we do i think we get sand shrew here well, another coughing actually won't be bad either nah we'll get sand shrew i think we'll go for that mew play in a couple turns we can knock out the ditto which is pretty good okay we're gonna have to play the water energy because i can't afford to use that welder just yet All right, what's our prize? Roxy. Okay, cool. Did any GXs will... Did any price will skyrocket post station because of the drawing power on turn one? Yep. With Sword and Shield, the Denny's price will go up. But right now, I think it's around 35 past something like that. I don't know its exact value, but I'm interested to see how high did any will, will go. What does Sand Slash do? Um, it's got an ability where if it takes damage, you put three damage on your opponent's attacking Pokemon. It's got an attack that does 120, and then its GX attack does 100 damage to everything on your opponent's side of the board that has damage counters on it. So it's a pretty powerful card. Sad that this is the last GX Pokemon ever be released. Not exactly, Eric. We still have Caracosta GX to come out. That technically is the last GX. I mean, not including if we get, like, a mini Sun and Moon, like, tribute set, kind of like Legendary Treasures, um, where they, and, um evolutions where they like reprint a lot of uh, old gx's because we still have some full arts to get i think but there's still some alternate art stuff i don't know if that's gonna come out for us though if you if you play this as mew as an intra loss not exactly dave i am playing my own mew roxy spell tag all ways to knock out the opponent's mew it's only got six hp so it's not that hard to knock out oh yes uh what about the dedene has got five extras and i don't know what to trade them hold on to them arc because they will go up in value Ooh, that was a big chaotic swell because I was going to play my shine. I might take the shine out of the deck in all honesty. I don't really like it. So my opponent has 70 HP left. I'm just going to keep putting damage on that Blastoise. That thing is scary. But if we can get 100, if we can get 60 more damage on it, we can knock it out. Now let's see what we draw. A water energy is good. So we can weld her to the Mew.
Okay, nice. We got a copy for next turn. Hey, and a lure ball too. That's busted. We can get back the Weezings. I could even get back my Splattering Sludge Boy. I think we just put all the damage on the Blastoise. I don't think he has any way to heal this, obviously. Do you think Dustmay Necrozma GX will be good with all the metal support? Probably not, Talon, because Zacian V is just a better metal type attacker. Uh, <laughs> or trade them to me, lol. Uh, do you think VMAX cards are better than tag teams? Nah, tag teams are still better, Angela, but VMAXs will probably get better. We're probably going to get a lot better VMAXs as time goes on. I think we're already going to be getting a Charizard VMAX in the second Sword and Shield set. What's up, bro? Remember me? I do, Maxico. I remember that name. Used to comment on my videos a lot back in the day. I'm about to go to a pre-release. Hope to get Zacian. Good luck, Dave. Good luck, man. And if you get any of those pre-release kits, isn't it possible to get um Frostmod? Dude, these pre the pre-release kits for this set, the evolution kits, they rival how good team-ups are because, bro, you get Frostmoth, Sinchino, Rillaboom, and there's a fourth Pokemon, I forget. But all, like, you have the evolution kits for Sword and Shield are actually insanely good. Okay. This guy's actually gonna get knocked out soon. Um... Maybe we should just knock out the Blastoise. But then he rocket splashes me. Yeah, we can Roxy this. I think that's actually a better play just to Roxy knock this out. I guess we didn't need to put 30 damage on it, but whatever. We just, we need to knock this out. That's the main thing. Is this thing, this Pokemon takes care of this. Okay, so we need to get a Mimikyu in play to knock that thing out without its ability working. Berserker, yeah, and Berserker is also a pretty good card, especially when we get that Galarian Meowth. Alright, we're just gonna go for this Lore Ball. Yo, triple heads. Yo, that is busted! So we can bench the coughing here. That is OP, my gosh. Alright, we're trying to get another Mew, I think. Nope. All right, what's our prizes looking like? Okay. Rip Charizard VMAX will become the most expensive card, probably. And they're probably going to make 10 arts of it, too, to uh, make milk the uh, wallets of people. Lurball OP. Lurball is nuts, man. And we can go with Mew here, too, which I like. We might get Reset Stamp. That's like the... Oh, heart of Mew. Okay, we have to get Mimikyu, then. We need to focus on knocking that out too, but this thing is really easy to knock out because it can't ever one-shot my Sand Slash. I could just go for Fury Swipes. And because we have Mimikyu in play, this thing doesn't even have an ability. I haven't even done Stellar Wish yet. That is insane. Uh, what does Charizard V do? We don't know yet, Angela, but we know it's been confirmed that there is one coming. Yeah, we're just going to go Fury Swipes, I guess. Sure. Nothing. I guess we could have just sacrificed a Jirachi, but I think it's still fine to have two in play. All right, we're just going to burn that because that is pretty useless at this point. I think I am going to play one energy down. The only thing I'm scared of here is reset stamp. I'm not going to evolve because my opponent could easily just get a great catcher. And an energy. We get one head, so that's fine. As long as we can knock this thing out, we're Gucci. We can actually just knock it out with our normal attack, but we're going to spiky storm. They don't have Silvali's ability. Yeah. Okay. Mimikyu was a great idea. Uh, thank you. It was none of your business who recommended that Mimikyu. Because this thing is literally potentially is what could, what is going to win me the game. Ooh, that War Turtle is actually pretty interesting. Okay, never mind. We're gonna knock it out anyways. What am I saying? Because I know I know its ability prevents damage from from things, but like I didn't know the reduction was that bad. Okay, we can definitely knock it out then. Yo, is there a new stadium that's basically the reverse? Of Radiant Force. Yep, I saw that. You get a, a base carrier discard. That'll be interesting. I don't know how good it'll really be, though, in all honesty. Alright, my opponent's staying in the game. They can get another Squirtle here if they want. Ooh, the Vault Prison. That's fine. We, uh, I think you just give up a Drachi, then. I just really don't want to get Reset Stamp. That's the only thing I'm scared of. But what's the odds they play it, bro? They got so much in the deck. Ooh, they're switching... 
Ooh. Yeah, nice. Um. Alright, we're just gonna retreat. Retreat welder. And we're just gonna attack here. We can get this thing knocked out too. This is this game is going a lot better. This is definitely a better game. We might even just knock this thing out with wheezing, to be honest with you. Hey, how good is Night March in Expanded? It is good, Aaron. Um, it's pretty good. I have an ADP Night March deck built. That video's on my channel if you want to go watch it after. The good old days. Haha, <laughs> used to be on P into PC Joe and watch your vids. Love roast love your roasting trades video. Also, when you used to battle fans. Yeah, I do maybe want to do viewer battles again at some point in the future. I don't know when though. Because when I usually when I stream, it's like maybe the best time to do viewer battles. But I, at the same time, I like to uh, stream and just kind of chill out and grind the ladder. So, are we, do, are we out of switches? We aren't. So if we hit a switch here, we win. There we go, we win. I think. Yeah, we win. Okay, cool. Alright, triple energies. Definitely was a good idea to put in the deck. I think this deck might be busted if you just don't if you get all the right cards at the right time like we did here, and you also don't get reset stamped. This deck might actually be busted. Okay, not bad. I think this deck's the like, biggest Achilles heels reset stamp. But other than that, not bad. I really... Okay, that, the Weezing with Splattering Sludge, 10 out of 10. Best inclusion I put in the deck, hands down. First deck, you're going to record Sword and Shield. Or, yeah, I probably... I might do Frostmoth Arc, depending on how I do on my day one trades. Probably Frostmoth. That's the deck that I'm most excited. It's not a. It's not really like a rogue deck, though. I know people like the rogue content, but there's enough good cards in that set. And there's enough things from that new set that will change the rest of the cards that come out especially with Quick Ball and Evolution Incense, that I think it'll be really easy to go back on older decks too and kind of revisit them. But I'm most likely going to do Frostmoth. That's the deck that I'm most interested in. Ward is going to be amazing, but we have DC back and then Pokemon Search. Now we just need Gusting Supporter. I don't know about the Gusting Supporter. I actually, I think the Item Supporter Gust Effect is way healthier for the game. We are getting DC back. Yeah, I saw that Dark. That is That got me very excited, especially because it's specifically only going to work on non-GXs. Yeah, Worlds is going to be great. All right, so Sand Slash Roxy in Standard, not bad. We won a game with it. Lit times. All right, let's go into Expanded and try the deck out here. So this is the Expanded build I got going on. Pretty simple stuff. Um, your little muck is just our Mew counter, pretty much. We have a Ditto in the deck. Um, this is pretty much the list that I've gone with here. And we are going to try out that Misty Lorelei engine. We might be able to use that. Let's see how it does in Expanded. Or again, Sylveon. Looks like he's playing Ultra Necrozma, which actually isn't bad. Ultra Necrozma is low HP. May I ask how you're going to trade on day one? I don't want to leak. I literally, in class, I was so bored in class during a lecture that I literally just typed out every card that I want to stock up on. Um, I'm going to, I'm going ham on Sword and Shield day one. I'm going to try to make sure I get like maybe like 600 packs or something. Like I'm going to get like 700, 600 packs on day. Like I'm going ham for Sword and Shield. Just because there's so much I can do with it right now. Especially with all the new uh, Full Art supporters. So I have already written down every card that I want to stuck up on in the new set. Um, like, I've literally written down every card that I want to stuck up on. I don't want to leak the list of stuff. Because I've already pinpointed their values. I will say, though, I'm mainly going to be going after probably Dedenne GX's and Secret Rare Energy specifically... Metal energy is gonna be the one that I'm gonna try to get the most of I'm gonna try to maybe get I'm gonna try well, I have what six right now I'm gonna try to maybe go up to like 12 or 11 12 or 11 I'm gonna try to get them for super cheap. What yo we prize three sand shoes yo what? But yeah, that's my day one plan. I also want to get to Denny GX because Denny's the Denny So we can go Lele here or I can wait a turn I'm gonna wait a turn I don't want to do anything just yet with this hand. We might need the muck, who knows. I'm going to pre-release today. Does anyone have any cards that they are really looking forward to? I'm hoping for a Snorlax VMAX. Yeah. I'm hoping for... Um, if I Well, I'm probably not going to pre-release. But if I was going to pre-release, I would probably be wanting Snorlax, Zacian, Quick Ball, Secret Rare. I mean, you probably want to get a bunch of Quick Balls. Normal, like, Quick Balls, Jacob. Because I, I don't think the old one 
it works because it's a different thing. Does DC work for VMAX? On or the new the new DC? I forget what it's called, but it doesn't work for VMAXs. It only works on non-GXs. So glad they brought that DC engine back, though. It was sorely missed. I was getting tired of playing Welder every turn. Uh, we have one Aqua Patch. In theory, we could win this turn. Okay. I don't think we're going to win, though. Let's just go for... Okay, let's just do this. What am I doing? <laughs> I actually don't even know what I'm doing. I guess we're just getting Sand Slash? Sure. We can't really let Sancho get knocked out. I don't know what I'm playing against, though. So I'm kind of skeptical. It's called Twin Energy. Okay, yeah, yeah, Twin Energy. Oof. Brick. Brick, brick, brick. I probably just bench the Giratina and go into it, to be honest with you. We're not well, no, Coco can get knocked out next turn, I don't think. Yeah, you know, a little chill. I could also just go into Sand Slash. Maybe I should have. Because that ability actually lets us knock him out. But if we get a Roxy, we also knock him out. It's playing Latios and Latias Tag Team GX. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ooh, another end. Beautiful. Thank you. This hand sucked. That's a really good end. I don't know if I have a game plan for that Latios, though, to be honest with you. Okay. We can do Roxy. Ooh, and he's got Negaguz. That's going to be hard to deal with. Violent Appetite is pretty annoying. I think then we have to get a little muck in play because Violent Appetite allows my opponent to heal all the damage we do to it, pretty much. Man, I forgot that card existed. Are you talking about um, Latios, Latias? Yeah, I forgot it, too. This Negaguz is a problem, though. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest, right now. I don't want to end them again. I also don't really want to play Roxy. But I also don't want to Juniper this hand away. Maybe I just Guzma the Nega Guzzin play? I mean, I don't... I guess. I I don't know. Yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll Guzma the Nega Guzzin play. I don't know. This, this hand is just so weird. I don't really know what to do with it. Maybe that play was bad. This is going to be hard to win, though, to be honest. This thing is a problem. And I'll see what we can do. Oh, they have another end. All right, nice. Hopefully this gives us a better hand. What are we looking at here? Okay. That's not bad. The Roxy execute combo has been activated. I do think we have to use Muck, though, because we don't want them to do Violent Appetite. We just don't really have a good way to deal with that. Uh, is there any other, like, uh, water DC attackers we can put in here that you guys can think of? Because, like, literally the only attackers I have is Sand Slash and Coco. So I don't know. Okay. Ooh, they benched an NK. I like that. Um, we could actually knock out the NK here if we can go double Weezing, but we can't. Alright, you know what? We're gonna go Roxy here for one Weezing. And we're gonna try to attack with Sand Slash. If we can knock this thing out, we could be Gucci. Could be Gucci. Propagation, bro. The busted ability. I'm generally surprised Execute has not been banned yet. <laughs> the card is so busted. I hope they don't ban Execute. I know some people want it banned because the Zoar can... Stuff like that. Add beacon picks and nine tails with ice blade. Okay, that's actually a good idea, Gary. I actually like that. I do like that quite a bit. That's a cool idea. All right, we're just gonna have to attack with sand slash here. I don't want to play the muck though, because then we lose access to propagation distortion door. I guess we just gotta let it be then. And just hope Sand Slash doesn't get knocked out. We might even need to use the Ditto for Sand Slash because we literally prize three Sand Shoes. Okay, I'm going to change the song. I think we've had this song on for quite a while. 
Ooh, Giratina. I, I'm glad my opponent didn't use that. That thing literally could shut me out of the game for not careful. I just put on the Sky Tower remix. This is my favorite Pokemon tune of all time. Ooh, they have a Sycamore. If they move their Nega Guz here, this can be pretty bad. And oh my gosh, Angela with the five euro donation, I think. Uh, thank you, Angela. Yo, I wanted to help you out because of Coppa. I think I spelt it wrong. No, you spelt it right. C-O-P-P-A. But thank you, Angela. I do appreciate the donation. Even if it's like a dollar or whatever. It's any, like, any little bit counts, man. But thank you. I really do appreciate Angela. And yo, For the Win TCG, how are you doing, bro? How are you doing? If you guys don't know For the Win, he's got his own YouTube channel. And uh, you guys can go check him out. So I could Spiky Storm this turn. And then, because my opponent doesn't really have much in play right now, we could technically Spiky Storm. And then go for a Misty Lorelei next turn. Do a double spiky storm. Actually, I might do that just for the lull. I don't really see how else I'm going to win this. Alright, let's just go for a computer search. So we get the other Sand Slash here. Which I think I do. I like that idea of a little nine tails, though. I really do, because we can we can afford to use this GX attack because of the Misty Lorelei. So I think we'll add that after. Um, Spiky Storm seems good. Let's go for it. I guess we need a DC. Oh, maybe we should have saved the comp search for DC. I don't know. Oh, never mind. It just comes to my hand. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Straight into the Sword and Shield stuff, A. Eh? Looking good already. Yeah, I'm excited for Sword and Shield. Oh, no, the Shaman. That would be a... This is like a perfect card for the opponent to bench. That's why Sand Slash is busted. Maybe we should put Pokepuff in this deck. Gotta see a match between you guys. Yeah, one day, hopefully. Hello, man from Indonesia. Yo, Billy. Uh, we can knock this out with uh, Coco or Roxy. Wait, did they end me? Yeah, I think they did. Yeah, they did. Okay, if they get a damage booster here, we're in trouble. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so we actually could knock this out if it's possible. Which I don't think it is because our hand is not good enough. That's a shame. I guess we can do another spiky storm. Yeah, sure. Spiky storm it is. Search check for three waters, put them in my hand, discard the other five cards. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Keep the wheezing for Roxy. Thank you for the waters. <laughs> what? LDF versus for the win. He could wreck me. He would wreck me. I guess we'll find out when if we ever do battle. Um, okay, what am I doing here? So we do want a distortion door. That's a big brain play. Maybe the biggest brain play of all time. We get two prizes. We might get end again to a bad hand. That could be an issue. Okay, there we go. We're getting some sand shoes. Okay, so yeah, this is a lot better with Missy Laurel and Expanded. These eggs are big. Now we just got to deal with knocking this out, which we can do next turn. Because there's no way, unless my opponent like plays Potion, there's no way this thing is going to probably survive a hit from Sand Slash next turn. I mean, to be fair, it's actually only healing 30 damage with Violent Appetite because of our ability, technically. Ooh, another Naga Guz. That's fine. This thing we knock out, we win the game. We could actually win if we can Misty Lorelei again. So if we top deck a Via Seeker here, we flat out win the game by doing another Spiky Storm GX. Could someone help me uh, get some ADP, please? 80, I think ADP is like around the normal arts are around like 8 packs right now. And then the, the Seeker Rare, the Full Art, and the Alternate Arts are around like 12 packs. ADP, yeah, it is an expensive card. You only really need like 2, though, for your decks mostly, though. Bro, I really want to draw via Seeker here because we flat out win by just taking six prizes with Spiky Storm. Bro, that's ridiculous. All right, I am praying we draw something here. 
<laughs> they concede. We would have won most likely there because, yeah, they didn't really have a way to stop my Sand Slash. All right. Expanded Sand Slash, not bad. We are going to try out that Alolan Ninetales GX because that's actually a good idea. That adds some extra firepower to the deck. But what would we take out, though? That's, like, kind of my problem. I don't really know what I would remove for it. There's so much, like, stuff in here. I guess a water energy could go. Yeah, we could because we have Aqua Patch, I guess. I don't mind that. Okay, we could do this. We do want to add a Vulpix. I could cut out a Sand Shoe, which actually I think I'll do. Ah, we're rocking with this, I guess. Yo, so you need 16 packs then? Yeah, if you want to get two regular arts, but it, it, the regular art ADP could be like nine packs now. It's it's kind of a weird card. It's kind of hard to predict its value. Just get 20 to be safe. Yeah, 20 would be safe. And then you have like four left over. Well, with 20 packs, um, I don't know the value of the full art ADP right now, but the full art ADP might only be 10 packs. So you can trade 20 packs for two full art ADPs. That is possible. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's 10 packs or like 11. I owe the alternate art and the rainbow rare are worth more. I got a hair in my mouth. Oh. Up against Hunter Butler's deck. <clears throat> Pardon me. Cannot talk today. ADP is like ketchup, makes everything better. It is it's such an insane card. I remember when it came out, everyone overlooked it. It was like, ah, it's not that good in standard. And then it turns out to be the defining card in the standard format. Ooh, busted starting hand. Uh, you could loop Ninetales GX move. That's what I was thinking too, Gary. That's another busted combo we have with this deck. Uh, we could play Bodybuilding Dumbbells with Misty Lorelei Ninetales. That would be a hilarious deck. Florida ADP, I bought it three times for nine. Nice. But when was that, Ant? Ooh, no, they're playing Whimsicott. Okay, that's pretty bad, actually. Because I think its ability works if we do Spiky Storm. So, yeah, Misty Lorelei might be MVP here. What on earth? All right. We're looking for compressor? No. Hmm. What are we doing here? We're treasuring away the Guzma. For a Weezing? We only have one in the deck. That's fine. I guess we'll just Roxy. Like, I don't think Vulpix is gonna knock out. There's nothing threatening on board. No, there's the compressor we were looking for. Man, Whimsicott flipped for each 100 damage. Yep, I think it does. That's pretty unfortunate for us. We'll live, though. Nah, it looks like we're just gonna get rid of this. I don't want to get rid of anything else. I guess, no, we should get rid of another battle person. Um, yeah, I'm going to pass. Oh, no, we could have gotten rid of the nine tails. I didn't even check if it was in the deck. Rip. How many packs does Sanchu value now? Sand Slash, I actually don't know what value arc. It's probably around like 40, not 40, what the heck am I saying? It's probably around like 12 packs, maybe. It might be around the same, because it's so new, people, what? Yo, this guy actually just knocked me out, bruh. Expa Expanded. Sucks. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what the frig, bro? This guy just knocked me out. Should have benched an Executor or Giratina there. I probably should have honestly benched the Giratina. I think I have the floats out of my hand. That was a stupid move. What will be the best deck in the format when Thorn Shield comes out? Probably Zacian ADP. I guess Rip Waylord Tag Team. Possibly. Well, Waylord is still like really good in Archies. Maybe Archies with Sand Slash is actually a good partner now. Ooh, okay. This hand is a lot better than the last hand. We can pull off a Roxy and everything. This is a way better starting hand. I'm getting the Cosmic Eclipse Lead Trainer box. Is it worth it? Not really, Chris. Well, Lead Trainer box. Is it the sleeve or is it like the bruh Hoopa? Oh my god. Okay, well, I don't think he's playing a stall deck, thankfully. Um, I'm trying to think, sorry. Uh, oh no, we have a little moth. What am I saying? Um, if the, is your Lead Trainer box the thing with like those promo Pokemon cards? Or is it the sleeves? Okay, what are we doing here? We're an Ultra Ball for Ditto. 
Enough stuff. Yeah, we're gonna get Ditto. We're gonna have to get a little muck in play. Ooh, I hate to do it because we lose our propagations, but there's gonna be times where a little muck is like, you need it. All right, we can probably hold the hand too. I think that's actually not a bad idea. And we got the Nine Tails in the deck too. Nine Tails and Alolan and Sandslash are actually like the same card, pretty much. Not, not, not really, but they look the same. They're identical. They're twins. It's one with eight packs in the sleeves. Oh, yeah, I mean, if you want to get it, the sleeves aren't bad. Beacon again twice in a row. That's busted, Gary. <laughs> oh, they actually could have knocked me if they hit that, because they could have just retreated and double Dark Patch or something. Okay. Unfortunately, we're going to have to get Muck. We could try to just knock it out with Coco and Roxy, but that's not going to happen. Let's be honest here. And we can always use Muck to sacrifice it, but now I guess they don't have Dark Ride GX and stuff, which is pretty good. I'm just going to do this, because why not get 10 damage on this thing? This is a pretty big turn. We're really praying we get Nine Tails here. Probably should have got rid of Supporter off that Battle Compressor. We whiffed the Nine Tails. Um, I'm going to retreat in the Coco then. Do you, uh, do not like the Elite Trainer boxes and the one with the sleeves. Hmm. Why do you have the eggs in the deck? Well, they're there for Roxy, and they also help you when you need to Misty Lorelei. This guy's got multiple Koopas. All right, this uh, muck is pretty much needed then. Alolan Persian. Oh my gosh. My opponent has the weirdest deck that can counter mine. Because Alolan Persian, I'm pretty sure, is immune to special energies. So, that's just great. But I guess our win condition can be knocking out all these. Another Nega Guz! Bruh, everyone's playing that. Well, because the muck is in play, we don't have to worry about that ability, though. An Ultra Ball. Alright, well, the good news is they're going to have a dead hand here because they can't really get much with that. Yeah, they got Dark Rider. Right, nice. So, oh, no, we have to end them, though, don't we? I might just... I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, I'm definitely not ending them, bro. That's a bad idea. I might just give up the Giratina. Yeah, that's a bad idea to end them. I'll just let him knock a Giratina, whatever. If they rip a supporter, that would be bad. No. Alright, can we draw a Weezing here? So we can do Roxy. This is why the muck is hurting us, because we can't do Roxy here. Sand Slash. Bruh. Okay. Alright, we're going to end them next turn. We're just going to go for a flying flip, I guess. Sure. I just can't. I can't end, man. I can't do it. I ain't giving them a new hand. Yeah, that hey, Yeah, Roxy and Execute is a busted combo. I didn't put it in my Egg Splat deck, which I kind of regret. And or bust. Maybe, I, I don't know. I don't want to end them. We'll wait a turn to end them. We'll end them to four next turn. Because they'll have a smaller hand than what they'll be working with anyways. Okay, they just ace rolled their Nega Guz. That is, that's the thing that just happened. If we can get the Nine Tails in play, though, we'll be in a really good spot, I think. Because we can, like, let them attack me and, like, snipe this or something. Okay, perfect top deck. We're just going to pray we do not whiff an Ultra Ball here. We've only played one so far. Come on. Nine Tails. All right, nice. Not the greatest hand, though, but that's fine. We'll get rid of this and this, I guess. No, actually, maybe we should keep that. We can probably get rid of both Sand Slashes. And then we, we can use Missy Lord, I think. Yeah, we'll get rid of... Hmm. Nah, I guess DC is the all ball out. I get, we have Special Charge. We'll be fine. I want to keep the Lorelei, because we can, like, thin the deck out with it. And then we can also use uh, Night Tails' first attack. I guess we're just going to snipe this Greninja Zork, I guess. Sure, I don't know. If we can get damage on it, we can Spiky Storm it, maybe. Hello, LDF. Have you tried Sand Slash with Tapu Lele Magical Swap? I have not, Joe. That could be another good idea, in all honesty. Uh, we end them into a Sycamore and a Dark City. Rip. If they get a Energy and a Choice Band, they knock me out and I lose. If not, we can Ice Path them. Oh, we have to do Ice Path this turn. Oh my gosh, this is not ending well. Ooh, that was a good top deck. 
Uh, we don't have any counter stadiums, so that thing is going to stay in play. Well, I guess they retreat anyways. No Sanchu to be found today. Oh my. Yeah, this is not going to end well, guys. <laughs> this is this game might just have to be an L. I don't really see how we're winning this. Probably should have saved that, but whatever. We kind of have to ice path them now because they'll just go for... They'll just knock me out with, violent, with Jet Pierce. We're never probably even... Gonna, yeah, we're never going to be able to even get another Misty Lorelei because we shut off our own abilities. Ah, oh, this is bad. This is bad. I don't think we're gonna win this, guys. This is not even possible. Snipe this. I think we have to ice path here. Bias a turn. Yo, Joe Korea, big brain combo. That is a big brain combo. I might be busted. But then you, I don't know, because you'd have to put like counter energy too. I don't know. We could try that out though. No, a black market. We literally have no way to counter that. Wait, we have Brooklyn Hill. What am I saying? We have no way to counter it. We haven't even played a Brooklyn Hill yet. All right. If they have a, if they have a knockout here, I might just concede because we want one turn to get Sand Slash. Well, GG. Yeah, it's not looking good. Okay, that's looking good. As long as the trainer's mail doesn't whiff us a supporter. We'll see. We shall see. Alright, what am I getting rid of here? Guzma. Roxy. And a... No... What am I getting rid of here? I guess just this? I don't know. Everything else I kind of want to keep. I guess we just knock him out. No, we can always flying flip him now. No, that's a bad idea. I think we actually just hit the Nega Goes. Set that I would be killed. My opponent probably plays Center Lady, though. Let's be honest. They're going to Center Lady this turn. Oh, they knock me out. And then they Chaotic Order. See how we lose. This is like literally impossible to win. If they don't knock me out with this for some reason, I don't know, maybe we can win. For some reason they put more energy on this thing. Don't know why they did that. Oh, there's their choice ban. Kind of a turn too late though. Now they have a brain, they know what to do. I'm just gonna see. We're not gonna win, they just cat a quarter. Well that was crap. <laughs> Alright, let's do another game with this expanded build then. And hopefully we don't run into stuff like that again. Please and thank you. Ooh, a Psychic deck. They might be playing Mew. Oh, I really don't want to use that Muck again, though, bro. Maybe we should not use Muck, play Silent Lab instead. Play, like, Goose Mahala. We could probably put a Goose Mahala in this deck, actually. I don't know. Do you think your Checkmate deck... Uh, will it be meta? What Checkmate deck, Angela? The Zatu one? Probably not. That Zatu deck, honestly, wasn't that good. To be honest. Alright. Hopefully this goes better. Alright. It's not looking very good so far, but we can computer search for Battle Compressor, which can get us a Roxy for six, which is pretty good. And we'll see what they're playing here. Yeah, they're playing some sort of psychic deck. Play labs. Nah. I, I think I'd rather just keep the muck. Muck is more useful, I think, in more matchups, but it does shut off our own eggs. I don't know, it's it's really tough to decide. Okay, this is good. Juniper top deck's perfect. Get that battle comp. And we can get a nice little Termon Roxy here. Will Checkmate ever be meta? I mean, it kind of is. It's still like one of like the decent, like, it's not like an amazing deck, obviously, but it's not like a terrible deck either. At least you say Guzma right, thankful. Guzma. Guzzy Guzma. I don't know. Not the greatest Roxy, though, in all honesty. We're not really getting much on anything else, but... I don't know. Maybe we can just knock out this Mewtwo here. 
Like, maybe I shouldn't have gotten rid of the wheezing. Maybe I should have just done double egg. Whatever. All right, what are we looking at here? Not bad. I think we'll just pass. Then we can evolve Sand Slash. Start attacking next turn. Maybe we just knock out the Mewtwo with Sand Slash. Oh no, YouTube glitched again. It says I have only five people watching me. <laughs> that happened like the last stream I did a few days ago. Great glitch, YouTube. Great glitch. Great website. All right. <sighs> Our evils kind of dropped quite a bit, I've realized, because we're not really planning it. Oh. There's the Mew. Well, mind you, I actually don't really care for it. We can always Guzma knock it out. I can't explain, lol. <laughs> oh, man. There's a Liddy. Uh, of course, he has Mew. What do we draw? He has Seeker. All right, looks like we're just going to do another Roxy here. Um, we can't knock this out unless we got Choice Man Weezing, but that can't happen right now. It's a good thing there's not the damage change Mewtwo, actually. That could have been pretty scary. Because if that thing ever damage changed on Mew, bro, that'd be bad. Okay. Let's see what we get here. Tapu Koko, Brooklyn Hill, another Sand True. Not bad. And we'll just Frost Breath. We have a, a Stretcher, so we can go Weezy next turn. Get him for 150, and then Field Blower off the... Oh, no, we can just knock him... Yeah, we can knock him out Weezing. And then he won't get the, uh... The Wish of Baton will not work, right? Yeah, because damage from an opponent's attack, and Weezing is not an attack, so it would not count. Seems good. Has Kappa been killing your channel? Not really, Angela. I don't know if has affected any PC Joe YouTubers. There's rumors that it, it has, but I don't... I, I don't know. Kappa is still a scary thing, though, to think of, because any moment it could honestly happen. But, like, it's really only affected the kids' channels, but who knows? It could happen to the PDCGO community. Ear ringing bell. Now, let's see what they do here. Ooh, they retreat. And they don't attack me, which is smart on their end. But not smart, because we'll stretch her. Explode would be funny. Yeah, doesn't that do like 30 damage to everything? We can save a Via Seeker. Try to get Roxy off this. Sure. Nope. I guess we can Ultra Ball for Roxy. Because we can then just go Lele here. Save a Versus Seeker. 80 and 30 to everything. Wow, that would be that would be a fun troll deck. Maybe we'll play Explode Sand Slash. Is Explode in standard right now, Gary? We should have a Roxy in the deck, right? Yeah, we Gucci. We could actually just get rid of the Sand True, which I actually don't mind either, because I don't think we really need that many. Yeah, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Sand True. This will help thin a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Triple Excel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. You can play with, like, triple energy and stuff. Welders, obviously. We're one damage off of knocking that out. No. And he concedes. All right, so this deck in Expanded is not bad. Um, Not bad. Now, I'm going to build another Sandflast deck. And it's going to be standard. I'm going to try it out with Blastoise. I was just thinking about that. We'll try it out with Blastoise. This could be a disaster. Uh, this could also be a miracle. <laughs> we'll see. We'll try it out with uh, Blastoise, though. Um, Cause why not? Is this ain't you any better? Switch with one of your bench. There, yeah, Fury Swipes is way better. Let's, let's just see how it'll play with Blastoise. We'll try a different build of Sand Slash, because I'm, I'm not, I was kind of getting bored of playing the expanded build and stuff. And we've, we've already tried the standard build. So we'll go here at these two. I think we just go quad bubble. Quad a bubble. We'll see how this goes. Um, so what attackers could we play? We definitely need the Vault Prism. And I think we will need to play a Mew. I still really like the idea of two Mews. Will the LDF find a new meta deck or not? Hopefully. Probably not now, though, because of the new set coming out. 
Aqua Bullet, Lapras, or Coyote. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good idea. How did you get so many cards? Well, Tom, just from playing the game so much over the past, like, five years, I just accumulated a lot of packs on my account. Oh, yeah, and there's a Lapras, I think, that just did 20 damage to something. Not that one. This one. Sure, we'll, we'll try. I don't know. That's a meme, though. Uh, we need Jirachi, of course, because every deck needs to play Jirachi. It's all about the grind mate, exactly. It's all about the grind. Uh, I don't think there's any other, like, spread attacks we could really work with here, right? If you guys can think of any, let me know. Will I, uh, will I add stuff to the deck? I might just take out that Blastoise GX. Or the Blastoise Pip-Up. No, but the Blastoise Pip-Up is a good beast deck. Alright, uh, we'll play 11 energies. We're not gonna go all in with 12. That is way too many energies. At four candies. Candy's value might go up. That's why I have so many. Because it's like, maybe rare candy's value goes up. Alright, let's do all this. Gotta play some escapey boards. Glaciate? Oh yeah, you're right, there is that. Uh, but do you still grind even if the game is not fun? Like, well, right now, the game's not, like, like, PDCGO recently hasn't really been that enjoyable for me. Um, like, I just, I haven't really been playing it that much just because it's kind of, like, dead right now. Or, like, just kind of stale. Yeah, there's Frostbeer. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, let me look up Glaciate. Nah, there is, that's only an expanded, unfortunately. Sometimes the matchups get so bad. And I stopped playing, yeah, same. Hi, I've been, have I missed something important? Not really, Jacob. Just been building Sandslash decks. Yeah, it's been hella dead, which is why I'm excited. Yeah, like, it's just, ugh. The game's just been so boring. The only thing that's been interesting is, like, Meowth VMAX came out. Uh, Fairy Energy crash in value. That's about it. Everything else, like, the game just kind of was just boring. Uh, I guess we just go Lily, the old Lily Cynthia engine. But yeah, Sword and Shield is going to be so good because it is just going to make the game a lot more funner. A lot more funner. What else are we adding? Comms. Please use my boy Explode. All right, we'll check that out here. Explode. Third damage each your opponent's Pokemon that doesn't need damage on it. Ooh. Maybe Explode's like busted with Roxy. Um, we could play like one Explode in this deck just for a meme. Play it with, no, but it's a stage two, right? VMAX Meowth was hard to search for it. Yeah, it was really hyped when it came out. I don't really know if it's, even, if it's that good, to be honest. I think we go down here, I don't know. Um, all right, what else are we putting in here? A stamp wouldn't hurt. I might play some pokey gear. I might play one bill. Uh, green won't work, right? Yeah. We'll play a bill. Sure. Bill's busted. Bill's the best card in the format. What do you think about VMAX Pokemon in, P in PDC Joe? It'll be interesting. What a what is the Lone Sanchez's ability to do? Um, when it takes damage, the attacking Pokemon takes 30 damage. Could play Giant Bomb with Sandslash. I was actually thinking about that earlier. Giant Bomb, then he... Then you do 130, but like, I don't know. Giant Bomb is, is so inconsistent in terms of how it works. I feel like we should play more Waters. We could play Keldeo in the deck, I guess. Best budget, Rogue in Standard and in Expanded. Um, I guess like in Expanded, there's like Night March. In Standard, there's... I'm drawing a blank here. I'm drawing a blank. So I'm just trying to think about what I'm adding to the deck. All right, let's just go to Water and... And see what water attackers we have. I might just add that Lapras back in. The problem is the high HP and healing, which makes older cards. Yeah, that's that's my main concern. We should just play Waylord card. We could put Misty Lorelei in the deck. We could play Articuno. I don't know. The best Rogan, uh, the best budget in standard, Chris, maybe is Baby Blacephalon. Because you don't need a Denny in there. Some don't even use Jirachi. Yeah, I don't really know what else I want to put in here. Glacian technically would work. I might just go up to two Kyogres, too. I don't really know. What does this do? No, nope, nothing. Okay. 
Uh, let's, if we type in the word bench, I guess we can find out what spreads to the bench. I know there's a Gyarados. There's Greninja. We could actually... Ooh, Dugong. Yo. Bro, is Dugong... Yeah, yo, is Dugong good? Is Ditto Prisman standard? Yeah, it is. Yo, we should actually put Dugong in here. Hmm. Sand Slash with Malamar might actually be good too, honestly. What does this thing do? Okay, that's another option. I actually like the idea of playing Dugong. Okay, you know what? Let's do that. Let's throw in some Dugongs. Just for the meme. Then we can play Ditto. Yeah, I kind of like this. This is meme, but why not? We'll discard energy with Dugong. And then get him back with this. I guess. Uh, there's no other searching cards I can put in here, right? Um, so either we play one more draw supporter, we need, I guess we need a stadium, I guess we don't, we could play friend ball, no, that's stupid, let me some dugong, yeah, that, dugong might be a busted idea, maybe dugong expanded might be better than the, uh, other build I had, yo, giant bomb counters ADP's GX attacks so hard, it kinda does, but if that, that's the ultimate Rayu, today I was going to sword and show pre but I'm very ill, and all day I'm bored instead, I'm sorry, Jaga, that sucks, bro. I am very sorry for for that. That that does suck. Triple for Gong. Could play, yeah, we could play like one triple in here. That's kind of hard to find though. Having one random triple energy, that's kind of not very good. I mean, I guess we could play it. I don't know. Could play Recycle Energy actually too. Just got a free Lone Sanchez GX Pro for my friend's live stream. Is this deck really good? I don't know, gods. It's like, we're trying it out. We've We've tried it out so far with Roxy and Welder and Standard, and then we went to expand it and played it with Roxy and Tapu Koko and Ninetales, a little Ninetales GX. Now I'm going back to Standard, and I'm going to build it in Blastoise here and see if this meme would work. Oh, I've got to put Seal in the deck, bruh. Okay, 12 energy is way too much. We forgot about Seal. Okay, you know what? We don't need two Dugons. We can probably just go with a 1-1 Dugon line and then play a Seal. We could put a Lana's Rod in the deck and then turn... That ditto into a double thing. This is a weird deck. <laughs> this is a weird deck. Oh my god. I think we should just play like another supporter though. I just finished the ladder with Roxy Chomp. Nice Christian. Yeah, Roxy Chomp is really good. Guzma Hala for triple. Eh, but we don't. There's nothing else we can really get with Guzma Hala. Alana's Rod could be cute. Oh, no, Rosa. Yeah, what am I doing? Why the heck are we not playing Rosa in here, bruh? That's a dumb idea. We need to put Rosa in the deck. Okay. This is a meme. But, uh, we'll see. If I like this deck enough, I might even make a video on it. Not tomorrow, because I think tomorrow's video will be on that Roxy Welder build we played earlier. But uh, if this deck's a meme, I might make a video on it because I need to come up with video ideas so I can keep uploading every day or something like that until Sword and Shield comes out. So this might be our best option. Alright, let's try out this weird meme build thing. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, the other build I was thinking about was with Greninja GX and also maybe in, with Bats and Expanded it could be busted. I just thought of that. Alright, where the heck is it? Uh, where is the deck at? I am leaking all the other decks that I might make videos on, but that's fine. Oh, it's right beside it. What am I doing? Yeah, you can take a look at all those other decks that I may or may not record on. Oh, we're up against a fire deck. Perfect. We're up against a fire deck. Okay, well, I'm going to change the song up here because I'm pretty sure this song has been on for time. Let's put on Abandoned Ship Remix because we're playing a water deck, Kappa. Hey, my point is that hello. We'll give him the hard hello back. Alrighty then, what are we looking at here? The Blastoise Pip start with double Squirtle. Uh, I like this hand. We're gonna start with Squirtle so we can escape board retreat it. This is actually an insane hand. Yo, wow. Oh, I just realized they had the candy and the lily. My boy Tyrantrum. Tyrantrum's cool, but like the problem is it's like, well, why why not just play Rampardos instead? That's like my main issue with it. It just feels like a worse Rampardos, but I might make a video on that Tyrantrum deck. That's Lily here. There's our seal. That's good. In fact, we're going to put a water energy on it. 
We have the rare candy Blastoise, but not the one we need. Rip. We're gonna have to wish for another Pokecom. Do you think you can loop Frogadier's ability? You'd have to play like Devo's Prey though, Gary. Maybe Sandslash Bats is the way to go. Sandslash Bats actually doesn't sound, sound that bad. Can you show me that Sandslash? Or I'll pull it up here. All right, there you go. You gotta go look at it, Kappa. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. My opponent's playing a fire deck, so I mean, we really don't even need to spread because we can just one-shot everything probably. I might even just rare candy this and play just if he is playing the fire deck. Yeah, he has nine tails. That's another rip. Uh, nine tails could get knocked out though by Dugong maybe. Actually, if we do get a Blastoise in play, we might actually be able to knock out this Vulpix here. Oh, we should have put Giratina in this deck. Hmm. Maybe the better way to play Sand slash Dugong is with Malamar. I'm kind of in belief that might be the best way to play it. Hello, yo, Kevin Blah. How you doing, man? How you doing? Thanks for coming by on the stream. We're playing some Alone Sanchez decks. Okay, well, my opponent has, like, the best start they could have gotten. The Dene being in play is good. That thing is a very easy target. We do gong in, then we spiky storm it. I think the better way to play this deck might just be an expanded, though. Or not expanded, sorry, um, with Malamar. Because Malamar might be a little more efficient. We can go a little more heavier on the Dugongs. When will Sword and Shield be available for PDCGO? Um, on the 6th of February, I think, is when the codes will go live. And then the 7th is when it comes into the shop. But technically, Sword and Shield codes will be out on the 6th of February. Because of the codes, um, all the packs will be available. All right, I actually hope they knock me out because we have Rosa. I know it's weird. But I actually want them to KO. Yes, please. KO my Jirachi. Do it. I dare you. Yes, thank you. And I think I'm going to go Dugong if I can and try to knock out that Vulpix. We need two energies, though, to get there. Which we So we only would need one energy on Blastoise. Yeah, we're going to try to knock out that Vulpix. Like the video, guys? Yes, everyone. Like the stream, Kappa. Okay, thank you for knocking that out. Can we draw something good? Perfect. Um, need the water. What trainer do we get? Stamp, maybe? Stamp in the five. They have a massive hand, but they have Jirachi in play. I wouldn't just mine another Pokecom. Yeah, we're getting another Pokecom. Get that Dugong. If we don't hit an energy off Blastoise's ability, though, bro, this is going to be, like, the biggest bra moment ever. We Pokecom again. Could go... We actually could get a Jirachi here. Yeah, you know, we'll get Jirachi. I kind of want to get a Sand Shoe, though, at the same time. Yeah, I think I'm going to get a Sand Shoe instead. So we have another attacker for next turn. I guess, no, we should have not got rid of the Blastoise, but then we get rid of Candy. I don't even know. Okay, please do not whiff an energy here. A, and we get two, which is really good. And I'm gonna maybe put one on Sancho. Yeah, seems good. We're gonna hit the Dedene and the Vulpix. And then knock out the gear, or knock out the Heat Ray next turn. Oh, if we had a way to get damage on, we actually could just take five prizes. I really wish we had a way to damage the Jirachi and the Heat Ray, because we could win with a Spiky Storm GX. Or we can go Vault. That works too. By the way, have you kept your new microphone or do you saw return it? Nope. Still using the Blue Yeti Nano. When I first got it, I had a little bit of issues. I had this weird static noise that kept coming up, which was kind of annoying me. Um, but I was able to... I guess I somehow fixed it. I, I, I haven't heard the noise since. So I guess I somehow fixed that weird static noise. But I did have like a weird static noise with it. But it's all gone now. Yeah, let's put on the Kanto Battle Remix. But I'm liking the mic, though. I really did think I needed up the quality of my microphone. Now I just need up the quality of my actual, like, gaming setup. Because, like, I'm literally making all my videos and stuff on this MacBook. That I use for school. Did they mention another Vulpix? I can't tell. 
Ooh, or a Corio. Oh, I really should have put Giratina in this deck, bro. If we had Giratina, we could just go boop Giratina. Well, I guess that thing has 170 HP. Giratina, man. I need to put it in. I'm getting static on my mic as well now, rip. Uh, yeah, I I don't know why. I was talking to my friend Outcast about that, and he was saying like how the like the the Yeti needs so much power that it just caused lag. Or not lag, sorry, static. I'm having a lot of fun with Misty Lorelei. Fly Nimium Z Swan. I use Kyogre to ramp energy and then Lab Press Misty Favor to keep your hand for repeated invincible 180 attacks. Yeah, that's actually a busted idea. <laughs> what the heck? How does Pika Miku work on PCGO? If they damage it, they take 60 damage. It has Count Tumble and does damage when knocked out. Yeah. When do you leave school? April probably is when I'm done. I shouldn't have got rid of that sand slash. I think we're just gonna try to attack a Volk here if it's possible. Kind of if we had a Rosa there. Okay. Two energies. Saw that coming. Hmm. Alright, we're just gonna have to sacrifice a Squirtle, I guess. No. The one from Unbroken Bonds? The Pika Mika from Unbroken Bonds? Oh, the Rock, Paper, Scissors one. I have never used that before. I don't know how the Rock, Paper, Scissors would work on PC Joe. They would have had to coach something for it. Rip Roni. Yeah, it's fine. We can still win, though. Our win condition is still on the board because this is in play. Once we use one Sauna Blast, we should set up the win condition. Or go for another Dugong. One of the two. It's so a good thing we knocked out that Volpix zone they did. And they actually technically can't bench another one now because we can control their board from benching anything. What is the first V Pokemon you're going to showcase? I'm tempted just to make a video. The first video I might make is on Lapras V Math Frostmoth. That's probably my most interested deck going into the new set. And then from there, after that, I just kind of cover everything else, I guess. Are you going to do a Sword and Shield pack opening? Yeah, I am. I don't have an insane amount of packs, though. Dang it, bro. What the heck? Well, I guess we played three. Oh, three energy is not even that much. Bruh. Yeah, we're going to have to go with Mew then. Bruh, we literally have a board sweep. If we can pull off a Sand Slash in the next couple of turns, if we can draw a supporter and get Sand Slash and attack with it, we win the game. Everything on the board can get wiped by Sand Slash. Do students at your school know you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, a few of them. My close friends know I have a YouTube channel. I don't really like to talk about it though in school. Not that like I'm, I'm not that embarrassed, but it's like I don't know. I just like keeping it private. But I, there's a few people in my class that also I've told about my YouTube channel just because I'm in business. So like bringing up my channel with business is already kind of like a topic. So it's like sometimes it just kind of naturally flows into the topic. Are you gonna play something after then Sand Slash? Probably not. I'm probably just gonna stick with Sand Slash for the stream. I might even end the stream soon. I'm streaming for an hour and 38, so another game or two, maybe I'll end the stream. I'm looking forward to the new Gigantamax. Yeah, the new VMAXs are looking pretty cool. Yeah, I'm excited to open up the packs too, gods. The pack openings are always one of my favorite things to do. I'm not going to be, uh, it's going to be the locked pack, so it'll probably, the video will probably go up on the 7th in the afternoon. That'll probably be when it goes up. Looking like a boss with that avatar, Charizard avatar set. Yeah, I'm so glad I was able to get this f for cheap back in the day. I remember I bought like, how much? I think I bought like 50 or 60 Charizard avatar boxes back in when they were buyable. And I remember like I crashed the Charizard market and all the avatar items dropped really low. All right, if we can just top deck a supporter then get us a Sand Slash, we win the game. We still have like technically two turns to pull this off, so. We'll see. Read my previous comment, please. Ooh, did I miss it? Are you going to play something after Sand? Yeah, I read that, Jacob. Yeah, I'm going to be sticking with Sand Slash for today. It's only going to be a Sand Slash stream. I'm going to try I'm going to build that Malamar Dugon deck after this. Which of your Galar version of Legendary Birds is your favorite? I haven't really looked at them, Maxim. I I think there's one from Ultras. Yeah, I didn't really look at them. But what's yours? Okay, water's good. Actually, no, it's not. We don't have Sand Slash. What am I saying? 
Yo, we might lose to the brick. I might have to just go with bubble, guys. I might have to just try to win with bubble. Oh my gosh, this is sad. We might have to just bubble our way to win. And hope they don't have a switch. So, if we don't top deck something that can guarantee a sand slash, we lose. Bruh. We came so close to- look at this! 100 damage, 100 damage, 100 damage, 100 damage. Full board sweep. Well, no, no, no. We're taking all six prizes. Oh my gosh, that's a rip. Bye. Alright, yo, Christian, thank you for coming by on the stream today. Ah, so if we don't top deck, like, something insane, we lose. Unless they don't have any switches left. Okay, they play three. Oh! The miracle top deck! Oh my gosh. And we got the sand slash, yo. Okay, so all we need to do is just not whiff two energy here and we win the game. We're probably gonna whiff two energy, though. I don't have that much left in the deck. Didn't even get one. Okay. Is there any other way I could win? Nope. Because this thing knocks me out. How much energy have they played? Eight. Twelve. Hmm... If only we got a few energy in play for Sand Slash, would have been perfect. So our literal only other option. Is to Great Catcher the Oracorio and hope for the best? Jeez, I don't know. Matt, well, we lost, Rip. Oh, man, we had... If only we didn't brick off of that Cynthia, we could have won the game by just setting up every... Because we had everything set up to be KO'd. That is the most disappointing loss I've ever had in my life. Honestly, though, this deck actually worked pretty well for us. This deck actually worked pretty well for us in this game. Despite bricking, we actually got the deck set up. We actually set up some pretty cool stuff. But, uh, of course, PDCGO is all about the brick gang. Do you think Pokemon TCG should have never made ADP because it ruins one prize decks? Eh, yeah, to be honest, ADP, in standard, it's a little OP, but I guess they want to just power creep the game. They just wanted to turn that dial up all the way. Will you play any other games on your channel? Probably not, Angela. I'm probably just going to stick to PCGO. I do have another channel for Walking Dead, but like I haven't uploaded in like four months on that channel. Though I do have a video file on my computer, but I never really wanted to upload that. That is a disappointing loss. We got so unlucky there. If only we found a couple energy, we would have been perfect. All right, we're going to try out that Sand Slash Dugong deck, I guess. Sure. Uh, wait, do you think of abilities that are an expandable Volcanion? I think uh, Volcanion of Zard's good, but like, I don't think I'm going to play it though today. I don't really like playing Charizard anyways. It's, it's just kind of a brainless deck. Okay. This might be a disaster in terms of this, this build, but we'll see. We have a lot we can work with to, like, make a really cool spread deck. Alright, we're gonna go with one Dugong and two Seals. We need to make room, because there's a lot of stuff we have to put in this deck. We could play the Tinas. Alright, now we need Jirachi. I'm not going to put Bilcephalon in the deck. Actually, yeah, I yeah, am. That's a stupid say. Why would I say that? All right, this is going to have to be the Pokemon line. I might want to add another Mew, though, but I think we'll be okay. Uh, they are trying to drop all old card value replay with the versus. What do you mean, Gary? What's your rarest item on PCGO? Um, my rarest item would be either the Charizard outfit that I have on or... Or this entire set of uh, gameplay sleeves. Those are my rarest items. Right, we're gonna go seven psychic. Three what? No, two waters. Cause we gotta build it like alternate Cosma. Green's expiration fell pretty hard. Couple of people have stopped liking that card. Green is still like good though, to be honest with you. 
I think green is still a pretty good card. Good old Lily Cynthia. Uh, do we really need a great catcher? Probably not, but we'll put it anyways. Yeah, you know, we probably don't need that. I'm gonna add Alana's Rod just for that Dugong loop. You only own two Belcephalon? Yeah, I, I don't play Belcephalon that much, Nintendo Rubin, so I just never bothered to really go after them. Like, the high health and healing makes the old regular pokes useless. Yeah, that's true. Making road decks is way more fun than playing the same ADP. Yeah, exactly. That's like... Malana, I think, is the thing that kind of ruined it, to be honest with you. Malana just makes some decks really hard to play. I actually could add a Cyrus in the deck, but that is so... That is the worst... Yeah, that's a dumb idea. Because that's so anti-intuitive. Because <laughs> that just removes Pokemon that has damage on them. Why would I ever do that? Um, How are we looking? How are we looking? What do you guys think? I might just go 2 2 Dugong. Yeah, you don't screw it. But we need spell tags. We don't, we don't need that many spell tags, though, because we aren't going to be attacking with Psychic Pokemon too much, so we probably just afford to play two spell tags. All right. How are you guys thinking of this list? The only other thing I want to maybe add is another Draw Sporter. Do you still have your Secret Ultra Balls? I do, Ralph. I do. I'm playing Roxy Cats right now. Two wins in a row. Nice. Yeah, I, I played against that deck recording that Trevnor video, and I got bodied. Maybe some spell tech. Yeah, we got them. Uh, I think this is fine. I think everything works. I don't know if I want to play a 1-2-2 a two -two line, but Dugong is a pretty good attacker here. I kind of want to play another draw supporter because Malamar sucks in terms of drawing stuff. But we'll roll with what we got. Sandy Dugong. Maybe this deck will be better with Frostmoth. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll try stack again with Frostmoth probably, to be honest with you. We'll try it with Frostmoth. Alright, we'll do like one game of this deck, and then, then I think I'm gonna wrap up the stream. Would you ever invest in tropical beaches? Yeah, but man, they're so expensive. They're hard for me to get right now. I get like day one Sword and Shield. If I really wanted to, I could do like 200 packs of Sword and Shield in the first hour for a Trop Beach, and I would be able to get one. But man, I don't, that's such a, I don't know. I do want to get some Trop Beaches, though, for sure, but I don't know. I would make it... It would make it more simple to spread early. I would make... Yeah, that is true. I don't know. I, I like this. Maybe we could throw in, like, a Weezing Spidering Sludge. And there's our Brick Start that you usually get with uh, Malamar. Especially when the new set comes out. I'm thinking about it, though. Like, the problem is, like, Travel Beach might get banned one day, and then that card's value just plummets. Maybe day one I'll do like a hundred of hundred sword and shield packs for a trop beach. That might go through. Probably not though, actually. What's up, bro? Good morning. Yo, Chris. Good morning to you too, bro. Thanks for stopping by on the stream. Okay, that's helping. Okay, nice. We're up against another fair deck. I did I actually didn't even see the types. In my opinion, this deck will be better in expanded Coco DC. Yeah, we we tried that out, Jacob. Tried that out. We actually were kind of getting bodied and expanded, though, to be honest with you. I didn't know. But yeah, if you guys are looking for Sword and Shield pre-orders, um, make sure you guys go to Card Craven because they do have Sword and Shield codes in stock right now. I'm checking right now. Uh, they have 50 lots of Sword and Shield code pre-orders up. They have normal Sword and Shield code pre-orders. They have the three theme decks uh, for codes are also up for pre-order. They're all in stock on Card Cavern right now. I don't know if Sand Slash is in stock. I'd have to check after. Are the Champions Festival cards really rare? Nope. They are very cheap. How long you play this game? I've been playing PCGO for five years now, and the Pokemon TCG I've been invested in for about 10 years, 10, nine years, give or take. I used to play the game in real life back in the day. Okay, rip our good start, but my opponent's start sucked too, so that makes me feel a little bit better. And we're gonna get Giratina. 
What's your favorite drop Pokemon from Jirachi, X, Shaman, Lele, or Dedenne? Probably Lele. It's just such a nice card to have in your hand because it guarantees you a supporter. I don't know. We're probably going to get knocked down. I probably shouldn't have done that. I don't know. We're just... No, oh, I should have done Distortion Torn. I just screwed myself over because my opponent's going to knock me out here. Dang it. But yeah, I would say Lele. It's just it's a, it's a nice card because it's also it's got the good ability, it's treasurable, and it's also got a good attack. What's not to love about it? Hmm. Nope, there's the Welder. I should have benched the Giratina. That was stupid. Don't know why I didn't do that. Well, that doesn't help our starts pretty terrible. Uh, why are they not as rare? There's a few codes that are given out each year. I don't know why, honestly, God, to be honest. I don't know why they're not as rare as the others, but... But Champions Festival is also not as good as Tropical Beach. Like, Tropical Beach is, like, in insane stadiums. Probably, like, top three stadiums in the game. And it's, like... But Tropical Beach is really old. It's 2011-2012, and that's, like... Eight, nine years ago. Really hard to get those codes... Really hard to get codes for that nowadays. Bruh. I want to just kind of concede, to be honest with you, but I'm going to stick it out. It's actually good that we're getting the damage on the uh, Turnator and the Jirachi. I mean, I just gave him a free Viridian, but whatever. Alright, we're going to get rid of the Switch, I think. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Maybe we can make a miracle. Who knows? I made a new deck with Catterday ability, Noivern spread, so I can hit the bench 20 damage. Nice, bro. That's a pretty sick idea. I keep forgetting about that Noivern. It's literally Tapu Coco. Do you think they will ever update the store and add new sleeves and deck boxes? I hope so, Chris. But because they kind of removed all that, the signs of it being a thing, probably not anymore. I mean, I hope they do. I want them to keep this game alive, bro. This game is so good and fun to play. It's so underrated, but, like, they don't give enough love to the game to, like, make it work. I don't think this game would ever be as big as Fortnite, but, like, for an actual, like, TCG, this game has potential to be huge. But, unfortunately, they don't... They, they just don't really seem to care about it. It sucks. Marsh Shadow with Aura Energy from Sword and Shield and Expanded. That'll be good too, especially with the uh, rainbows and prisms. There's a lot of those basics. That'll be good with Mewtwo and Expanded too. I know I love this game. Yeah, I've been playing this game. This is probably my most played game of all time, apart from Call of Duty. Like, this is genuinely my most played game of all time. I have over like 100 days put on this game right now. Like, I have a lot of time investment in this game. I'm scared one day they'll like shut the servers off in this game or something like that. And it's like, bruh. That'd be the most bra thing ever if they actually shut the servers off. I hope they don't. I really want this game to thrive and succeed, but man. I'd love a new variety of background songs in PC Joe. That would be nice. Yeah, add more music. They could do a lot with this game, but I don't know why they don't. They really should, though. All right, we're getting bodied here. If we don't draw something, guys, um, might have to be a concede. Like, I read my Viridian. I didn't even realize. All right, top deck, Lily. I'm just gonna concede. I don't even think we can win even if we do get set up there. We're gonna be behind so many prizes. I will right, we'll do one more game of the deck and then I think I'll wrap up the stream. My favorite TCG is Mad the Gathering. This is my second favorite. Yeah, I know Magic's pretty big too. I've never really gone into that though. I've looked, I've considered it before and I've seen like at the local card shops, the values of these Magic cards. I don't think they will shut, shut it down, man. Don't worry. Yeah, hopefully not. I doubt, yeah, I doubt they'd ever do that either, but, like, who knows. All right, another fire deck. I mean, we're hitting the fire matchups, which technically is good because we are playing a water deck, technically. Hey, going first. Perfect. We'll see what we start with here. Okay, this hand is a little bit better than last hand. We're going to be able to go Jirachi. Hey, LDF, I'm back now. Yo, Andy Wu, how you doing? Thanks for coming back. Or, uh, ooh, let me drop to Cynthia. I think I still go for the Jirachi, though, to be honest. Because why not? So it's because Trouble Beach is a much older, better card for play, and it's been harder to obtain. I feel like 2013, 2014 should be expensive, pretty rare, hard to find. 
yeah i don't know i feel like there is something with the champions festival though that makes it like like not as rare i don't know i i don't know why it's so cheap but well, i know tropical beach is expensive all right let's get a lily off the stiller wish nope rip okay oh, then we have a cynthia maybe mew box with sand slash i was thinking that too pcgo becomes like becomes like pokemon bank becomes pokemon home yeah i don't know uh well, okay this is a weird hand i'm just gonna pass Interesting archetype that's been working well on the ladder. Have you tried him much in Waba Fed? Yeah, I've played it before. It's all right. What are you playing now? Uh, Sand Slash, Dugong, Malamar. So far, that's not working because we're drawing kind of poorly. For Expanded, I played a Sidui with um, the Blocks GX with Hoop and Mew. That's an interesting deck, Ralph. I have a Decidui Volcarona GX deck build. I haven't played it much yet, though. Okay, if Jirachi lives, that would be a Christmas miracle. Because they could save their double blaze for Sand Slash to do 200 damage to knocking you out. Hmm. Oh, I got the Welder 2 energies. Oh, no 1 energy. I right, beautiful. I'm going to see he knocks me out with his Jex attack. We're living. Okay, we get another turn. Whew, that's really good. That was a weird top deck. All right, we're going to Cynthia for... Oh, I, should, no, no, I don't want to touch water energy. We need that for Sand Slash. Okay, that is definitely a hand. That is definitely a hand. Why is Jirachi so expensive when you get it from the codes? Because the alternate Cosmo box apparently is no longer being made. Bruh. This deck is drawing like crap. What the hell? Um... Yeah, it's just apparently the Drachi box is like no longer gonna be made anymore, so it's like limited. I feel as like as long as they sell Pokemon TCG, which will be forever, they'll keep the codes and packs and keep the servers up. Yeah, that is true, gods. Because they stopped making the Ultra Crumble. Yeah, exactly. The Ultra Crumble box right now, PCG was like forty packs or something. It's actually kind of insane. Like without opening it, if you just have the box in your account, it, it treats it like a pack. You can actually get like forty packs for it. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Because Jirachi's gonna be so good the rule change, I think it's recommended that they uh, bring that back. He has a nine tails. I might just concede. I don't know if I want to play this game out. If we don't topic something, I'll probably just scoop. I think we should add more draw supporters to the deck. I still think Erica's pretty busted in Malamar. It's a good draw supporter for the deck. Yeah, it's freaking expensive. Yeah. <laughs> it's nuts how expensive it is. If someone kept it without opening it, bruh, they actually have a pretty decent rare item on their account. Okay, they're down three welders. That makes me a little more happier, but if we don't draw something here, we just lose. Especially with that nine tails in play. Okay, let's not brick now. And we bricked. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap the stream here, guys, with the sand slash. I still have to record tomorrow's video. Yeah, brick. Yeah, it sucks. I don't know. Malamar always bricks. I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna tweak this deck though down the road. I'm gonna take out that Lana's rod. We're gonna add more draw supporters. I think that'll improve the deck. I don't know. Anyways, that's a purely strachi. Yep, the purely strachi apparently has gone up to like up to 20 packs now. Apparently, from what I heard, this thing's a lot more expensive now. Um, if you guys want to get those ev team up evolution kits, you can get them off card cavern and you can get that but yeah i'm gonna wrap the today's stream guys i'm streaming for almost two hours and i still have to record tomorrow's video on probably the sand slash roxy welder deck because the deck actually didn't play that bad for us so i'm kind of excited to record it i'm probably gonna go take a nap um but yeah thanks for watching the stream guys and again uh sword and shield codes are now up for pre-order on card cavern tcg once again if you guys want to get any from card cavern get them there card cavern might have sand slash codes in stock right now nope they do not they're sold out i'm checking right now but the sword and shield codes are up for pre-order so if you guys want to pre-order sword and shield codes get them over at card cavern tcg thanks for watching the stream on the sand slash deck i'll see you guys tomorrow for a sand slash video have a good day and bye bye guys thanks for tuning in to the stream have a good day